Has your mum or dad ever said to you, you'll catch your death of cold if you don't stay warm? But is this statement really true? Why have we developed such a strong association with being cold and catching a cold? As it turns out, this old wise tale is neither true or false. There are over 200 viruses that cause the common cold, but rhinoviruses are the most common, and evidence does suggest that these viruses are in fact closely linked with cool weather. The process of the growing infection takes place in your adenoid area, a mass of soft tissue in the back of your nasal cavity. The cold virus attaches to the surface of the nasal cells, then travels into the cell where the infection starts. In the cell, new virus particles are produced and these are released when the infected cell dies. This incubation cycle only takes 8 to 12 hours from entering the cell to new viruses being released. The common cold virus is highly contagious. Blowing your nose, sneezing and talking all expel vile infected droplets that can land in another person's mouth or nose. Even brief contact with a contaminated object can lead to you being infected. Okay, so you know what a cold is, but why winter? When the human body is exposed to lower temperatures, blood vessels in the nose and throat naturally constrict. In colder temperatures, fewer white blood cells are delivered through these vessels, resulting in a diminished immune response. This idea was then backed up by Cardiff University in 2005. An experiment was carried out where 90 people put their feet in a bowl of ice water for 20 minutes, while another 90 people put their feet in an empty bowl. In the following five days, 30% of people who had ice water had developed cold symptoms, compared to only 10% of the other group. Researchers have discovered that it is more likely for warm, infected cells to undergo programmed cell death than cold ones, also known as apoptosis. This is designed to limit the spread of a virus. Another reason is that people tend to stay indoors for longer periods of time, therefore allowing the virus to infect other people in closer proximity. The Yale University School of Medicine also proposed that the rhinovirus multiplies quicker and more efficiently in the cold. A study showed that the virus replicates faster in the cooler nasal cavity rather than in the warmer lungs. However, we still don't know why this happens. What is commonly misunderstood is that winter cannot give you a cold, but it can trigger a virus already present. So, as long as you keep yourself isolated from every human being, you'll make it through the winter without catching a cold.